All right, so this is the cat crawl into the jaguar crawl. Now, it's gonna look goofy, you're gonna be crawling, but understand the importance behind this exercise in working on locomotion and the sequencing and the patterning that is necessary to perform locomotion, walking, running, jogging, sprinting in the most efficient pattern. Think about when we developed as kids. We developed from the ground on our stomach to our hands and knees and then to our feet. So we actually started on all fours and that's a perfectly normal process for all humans. And you'll notice a lot of similarities between two-legged creatures and four-legged creatures and how locomotion and forward locomotion is performed and humans are no different. So performing this crawling pattern is a great way of developing the sequencing and the walking positions necessary. Not to mention you're going to get a great workout simply from doing this, as well as a great core exercise too. The easiest position is starting on hands and knees, very similar to the child rockers, where your feet are relaxed and the heels are moving away from one another. Keep that chest up proud, the spine long, rib cage out in front of your hips. As you step forward, one knee will go towards that stance leg arm and your head will shift over that stance leg arm. So there's this little bit of weight shifting that happens towards that stance leg and the other arm goes forward. So we're always doing opposite arm, opposite knee. So the easiest way to think about this again from a sequencing standpoint is bringing one knee towards your stance leg hand. Now if you have the space, it's very easy to just keep crawling forward. That's the easiest form of the exercise, and I would encourage you to do that if you have the space. If you don't have the space, then you're going to take one step forward, one step back. Get in a rhythm on one side, then get in a rhythm on the other side, and then you can work on alternating back and forth between legs because, let's face it, when we walk, when we run, when we jog, we're always alternating legs. So you have to get used to the sequencing of what alternating legs feels like. Now to take it up a little bit of a notch, once you've got the sequencing down, and to make it more of a workout, make it more challenging from an upper and lower body standpoint, you'll tuck your toes underneath of you. Still gonna be that same child rocker position where the heels are pointing away, but our toes are tucked underneath of us, so we have equal pressure through all five toes. Then we're gonna lift up off the ground slightly, so the knees are barely hovering up off the ground, and then we're gonna perform that same step forward. So knee to elbow with the opposite arm reaching forward. There's that weight shift where we're taking our head over top of that stance leg, arm and leg. And the back leg heel is going to be moving away. Now again, if you have the space, continue crawling yourself forward. If you don't have the space, again, take one step forward, one step back, work on one side, then get good at the other side, and then get good at alternating between the two. Now it is more challenging because you have to support more of your body weight, so it's perfectly fine to set your knees down and rest and repeat every single rep if you don't have the upper body and the lower body strength and capacity to be able to hold this position for an extended period of time. But eventually you wanna to try to get multiple sets and reps in without much rest. And finally, if you get good at this and you want to add some fun to it, you might look a little silly in the gym, but it also makes you feel super badass from doing it in the gym. Pull a sled as you're crawling. It's a great workout, great hip shoulder mobility drill, great shoulder strength and leg strength drill. Think about the shin angle you need as a sprinter coming out of the blocks or as a defensive end coming off the line. You have to keep a low shin angle. As you crawl, you're gonna be forced to keep a low shin angle because we want you barely hovering off of the ground. So it's an excellent drill for athleticism as well, not just everyday population trying to learn the locomotion patterning and develop strength and capacity and power. It's also great for athleticism too because these are the angles that we have to get low. You hear coaches say all the time to athletes, stay low. Well, this drill will teach you how to stay low as you propel yourself forward in a locomotion fashion. Concepts still remain the same. Elbow, knee to elbow, opposite hand reaches forward and that back heel moves away. Stay low to the ground, drive yourself forward and perform it for the turf area that you have available to you at the gym.